Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome in. I'm the Bronze Jade and today we're continuing our playthrough of Silent Hill 4. All right. <laughs> I've been so excited to play this all week. I actually had a dream about it. It wasn't a good dream though. I had a dream that I couldn't play it. I had a dream my disc stopped working. I was so sad, but hopefully that doesn't happen. The disc seems to be doing good. I was really trying to figure out if that was another hand. I don't know if I'm just seeing textures or if it's, I'm just seeing what I want to see or what. Yep, that bunny is still staring at us like it's our fault. Eileen. We already looked out the window and saw our Eileen get taken away. <sighs> Sag. I really thought there was more to that than just seeing her. What is going on over there? Sorry. How much time has passed since his room started going crazy and the hole appeared? That's true. I wonder. You guys had told me that I fudged up picking up the dolly. And I also read that the best thing I can do is keep it with me. So now that I've messed up, I guess we should keep it. Um, and yeah, this. I haven't even really looked at this. It's just a card with some kind of frightening demon on it. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. But I'm super sad that I uh, picked that up. I, I didn't know. I mean, I couldn't even... I wouldn't have been able to even surmise that it would have done something negative to my playthrough. No idea. Oh... No. No. What? It looks- it also looks like an evil demon. Holy moly. What are we gonna do with this room now? I'm a little nervous about what's gonna happen here now. Oh god. So I'm gonna guess that the holes just get worse. Alright. Well, let's go. I've checked everything. Y'all have seen everything that's new, so let's get crackle. What do you mean the hole is blocked? Looks like the wall isn't getting any worse. Wait, what? But this is... Shower! What did you see? Doll! Help! Do something! I can't use this here. Could I use it somewhere else? What is he s- No! <laughs> I didn't think I could actually use that here! That is so troll! Oh my god! I'm gonna cheat and re reload because- I just loaded in, so it's fine, it's fine. You can't load a game from here. You save only. You don't load. I just saved over it. All right, it's fine. It's okay. I just lost a super nice med kit. We can get through this, okay? We can mitigate this. I think. This playthrough is not going as planned. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get out of here. Let's look at our stuff. If we can't leave, literally, out of the front door or the hole, surely there's something. That's for ghosty boys. <gasps> what about this uh, medallion? Oh, along with a weapon. <sighs> Wait, we got this succubus talisman. <gasps> Some kind of frightening demon on it! Hold up! He said that there was a demon. 
on this thing. Didn't he say that? It's some kind of stain. Come to think of it, it also looks like an evil demon. Okay. A talisman. Use? <gasps> oh, it worked! Okay, that was unordinary. Oh. Oh, placard time. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if we're going to get a cool puzzle or something. After he did the ritual of the Holy Assumption, other worlds began to force their way into his universe, and it began to swell horribly. But his universe is different than ours. It has limits. And in the limits of that universe, he rules as a king. And in the deepest part of his kingdom is his mother. Oh, that's kind of sweet. <sighs> what about Henry's mama? Temptation. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay. I thought it was going to be like some kind of puzzle that we could try to figure out. Just to, like, learn more of the storyline or something like that along the way. All right. Oh, wrong way. Er, let's go ahead and pick this up. Chaos. Temptation. Source. Watchfulness. The four sinners or, or atonements, I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing from our notes. Ooh, I love that sound. Okay. Sick? Oh my god, I'm excited. Oh my god, that's really cool! I just got chills. Uh, ch ch chills. Can't see them, but they're there. Wow. I'm just amazed. I'm just sitting here listening. I'm I'm amazed. This is super cool. The whole Where will it lead to this time? Eileen, I wonder if she's okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Where to this time? Where to this time? Here's our boy. Looks like... Oh my god, what? What is that? I mean, obviously it's a body and who's- this is this guy from the last world, from our apartment. Oh my god, is he coming at us? Oh my god! Is he coming at us? Okay, y'all, I am super freaked out. Like, really. I am actually kind of terrified. And it's because the elements of- oh my gosh, please, I'm trying to talk! It's because of the music, the ambience, and then that weird encounter that we just had all at once, that was- I came over here because I saw a little bat, and now I got a little cutscene. <sighs> I'm nervous. 
Okay, I'm sorry I didn't comment on that during the scene. I'm just kind of scared, but I see a purse. What's a woman's handbag doing here? It must be I. Why would you know it's okay? I mean, cool. Shh. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to do because it, when I picked up the doll, I don't know. Do I learn from my mistakes or do I? I'm not gonna take it. I don't know. This is really hard. I'm just gonna think about it. I don't know. What's a purse gonna do for me, huh? The only thing I could do is probably beat up somebody with it. Unless she's got something inside. There are all sorts of medical things, but I wouldn't know what to do with any of them. This room is really cool. Oh, what's this? It's a paper cutting knife. Paper cutting knife? Okay. Uh, so it's a weapon. Ooh, let's go, Henry. Hmm. I don't know about her purse, y'all. I don't know what to do. Ooh. I have a- I just have a feeling that taking that doll and it being cursed and her item or whatever it is, I guess, cursed. I don't know if taking her purse is the right idea. I don't know. What's going on? That's Eileen. The music is so good. So someone's performing an operation on her? That was a cool little cutscene. There are a lot of photos pinned up on the board. Could these be Eileen's pictures? Yeah, it definitely, definitely looks like her. Dude, that was sick. There are lots of forms with the name St. Jerome's. We know that place. That's not too far from my apartment. Yeah, I heard that on the radio, I think. Yeah, because that's where they took her, right? But they said she wasn't going to make it. It's a bunch of medical equipment and stuff. Oh, memo. Note. It's a nurse's memo. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. She was a patient brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Okay. We'll find it. So Eileen is here. Nurse's note confirms it. What's this note? I... Galvin, Ayn Galvin, Lean Galvin. I what the heck is going on? What? Dude, that is kind of creepy. Uh, it reminds me of Mike's note to Rachel. Really creepy. Guys, I'm 100% tuned into this right now. I'm like on edge. I'm gonna have to stay calm because, you know, I get all yelly and I get excited. So I'm gonna try to like keep it cool, you know? Oh, sorry. We've already been in here. Weird. Let me check the map. Oh, it's like a little loop de loop. Okay. Oh, that was weird the way my map closed. It's like a fisheye. <laughs> oh! Okay, I got a, I got a woman up. This ain't cool. I'm not happy with how scared I am. Ooh, it's nice and quiet in here. It's a bed with wheels. They must move patients with this. Yes, Henry, they do that probably. Yes, I'll take the nutrition drink. Wait, how do we go back? The light is broken.
I am freaked out by whatever that being was in there. Ooh, a hole. Yes, we need to go back. I mean, not because I'm not because I'm scared or anything. I just we need to drop off some stuff. Also, I need to check and see if anything's happened on the other side. I think it was this room. You are terrifying. Yo. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am not laughing because I'm not making fun. But that sound effect. Creepy sounds. You. So was this the thing he was creating? I thought it was maybe a dead body that he was salvaging. It's a body operating table. That guy. What in God's name was he doing here? I don't know, Henry, my boy. I'm scared. There's a strange human-shaped object. operating table. There's a bloodstained cover on top of something. I don't even want to imagine what's under that cover. Okay, that thing went down rather easy with the axe, especially. So, now I'm not so terrified. I feel like we can do this. And for the love of Jesus, I need to know what to do with the purse. Ugh. Moments like this is when I wish that I was live streaming so that I could just say, like, vote on it, you know? It's a baby medical chart. Baby medical chart? Hold up, let's read it. I've got too much stuff, though. It's a baby medical chart. But that's all you're gonna say. What about the baby? There's a lot of references to child and mother in this, I've noticed. <gasps> oh, oh. Hey, what's up, y'all? Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, that sound. Ooh, ooh, they deadly. Wait, is that a pregnant woman? Take the ampioli. Wait, I just realized. Goodness gracious, I gotta go take all this stuff back, though. Um, but back to what I was saying, I just realized that's a woman that we're fighting. Looked like she had a pregnant belly. So that's why Eileen might be here. Creepy. No. Okay, it all just kind of exploded in my brain all at once there. There is definitely something going on between mother and child in the story, or the plotline, I mean. Oh, I should reload. That would give me space, wouldn't it? I'm gonna keep the ampioli, cause, um... <laughs> you never know. Oh, wrong way! I'm not used to going this new way yet. Hey, let's look out the... Look in the hall. See if we have any visitors. Although, the only visitor we've really ever had is the superintendent. All right, sorry for all this back and forth. The ambience. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave her purse. I'm gonna... I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but uh, if I'm gonna try to learn from my mistakes, then it makes sense to leave it. It's an elevator, but the door or button is broken and it's not responding. Oh, I thought this was like the way to go. Oh, we need to go over here. Hello? <gasps> A stairwell. Hold on. There's one last door I need to check down here first. Oh, okay. Excellent. Woo -hoo -hoo! Second floor. Well, this is cool.
Uh, hello? Are there ghosts in the chairs? <laughs> I swear, I'm not laughing because I'm making fun. It's just kinda, it's, it's kinda cute. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm laughing because I'm enjoying it. I'm not trying to make fun. This is actually awesome. Well, this hallway reminds me... <gasps> Can I go back with it being closed now? Okay. Please don't do it again. Please don't do it again. Whoa, that was so cool. Dang it, I don't get a reward. <sighs> it's okay, I don't always need a, need a reward. The reward is playing this game. Any other traps? Hello? Oh my goodness. It's an awesome snake statue. Is this gonna be Tomb Raider or is this gonna be... Oh, I freaking knew it, dude. I freaking knew it. Oh, sorry, snake. I didn't mean to hit you. Okay, let's put it back. Obviously, this is not going to work. Wait, I can't use it? Don't troll me. No. I see you, Silent Hill 4. You're full of surprises. Okay, y'all. Seriously. Oh, it worked! I didn't see the message because I clicked. Okay, okay. Alright, it's all good. I just overthought the situation. Not the first time that's happened. Oh, it's our little skin dandelions. Oh, I really like the attention to detail they put here. When you swing, you're actually hitting a mattress. You can, you can hear that. Wait, yeah, it's raining? It's wet from rain? Huh? Actually, this is making me have to go tinkle. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's go. Oh, sheesh! Ooh. That scared me. So, we know those are on a timer. Actually, I'm gonna go across. I'm gonna try to zigzag. I think that's the most efficient use. Whoa. Are those... Oh, needles. Oof. There are all sorts of medicines, but I don't know what any of them are. Some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Wait, around the middle, there's still some meat attached on the inside. Okay. Interesting detail. Oh, let's reload. There we go. Interesting. Is that supposed to be a body part of some kind? I'm starting to... Oh, there's a box. There's a box. Someone's, someone's harvesting umbilical cords or something. Oh man. Sheesh. And we've got all these hot wheels out here. Ooh. There's a horrible smell coming from the inside of the broken glass. The glass is broken. Our table is broken. What's down there? I can see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? Uh, Henry, my boy. That looks like a dead body for sure. Pretty sure it's hanging upside down. I wish I could look. Henry's looking at something here. Oh, I didn't even see this. I don't... I don't want that. I've got too many. Yeah, I don't want to fill up my inventory. Go see. 
Hello? Something's moving. What? Oh, there's someone in the chair. What are, what are they doing? They're just getting up? That's so cool! Whoa! Oh, don't come over here! <gasps> Revolver Ooh. bullets! Ooh, baby! Oh, I love all the little ghosts in the story. This is so cool. Henry doesn't say anything about it, though. <laughs> we missed the door! Let's go back. Here we go. Ooh. This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord. What? We're harvesting babies! Oh my goodness. Whoa, y'all are nutty. Look at these nutty ghosts. Two doors down. Here we go. Have we been in here already? Oh, we haven't. I'm just like really slow. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I have to go back. This is so cool. Henry, you look so cool. Why is it sticky though? Ah! I know it all means something. Did I go in this room? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is stairs, perfect. This is what I wanted. We gotta go back. All right, BRB. Won't make you guys watch all of this again. All right, I'm back. Got some room now. Sheesh! Now there's some wild chairs. Ugh. Yes, I'll take it, I need it. I don't like that the nutrition things don't, I don't think they stack. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah! <gasps> oh, that's gnarly. Uh, sir, I think you have something. Uh, let me just get rid of this. I'll take care of that. It's a man's dead body. Oh, man. But who and why? What in the who the what? Uh, that looks like... Similar to the room. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so don't get on the circle, I guess. They can only hurt you within the circle. Alright, well, we just won't go messing with that. Ooh, we used the key! Hold on a second. Let's check out the others first because I have a feeling it's it. I don't have words. I really don't. All I know is, I bet you there are a ton of players that hang out in that room. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I ran right into the wheelchair because I'm so flabbergasted. One sec. Let's keep, let's keep looking through the rooms. Oh, another medallion? Yo! Yeah, let's equip it. I, I guess I have it. It's like an offhand thing. Oh, snap! Look at that! Y'all can't even touch me now. Oh! Hello! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Whoa! Going crazy! Get him! Get him, Henry! 
There you go. I feel kind of bad. It's some kind of skin. It smells so bad. It must be fairly new. My god, is it human skin? Uh, yeah, it probably is, Henry. As far as what we've seen, this seems like a monstrosity that would be here. Alright. We're almost through. Sheesh! I love this axe. It's a sterile room. Not gonna say anything about the body. Oh! Ma'am wasn't dead yet. Alright, I guess we can't interact with that any... any way. What is that hanging at the end of the hall, though? There's already been here. Oh man, I'm kinda scared. Oh! It's just another x-ray room. Bunch of x-ray pictures stuck up on the board. Are these Eileen's x-rays? Oh my gosh. The man's was planning. He was plotting. <gasps> oh my god. What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of the clock. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to be loud. Dude, really chilling atmosphere and environment design. I thought that Silent Hill 1 was pretty chilling. You know, and, and 3 especially with the other world designs. But I truly feel like this one is really pushing boundaries or, or what's the right word? Interactive? Like it makes you really take in each of these things. Oh, we have to go back to the apartment again. Which one is the sterile room? <gasps> Maybe we're in the sterile room. One more door. And then I'm gonna go drop off all this stuff. And then I'm gonna go into that room that I think Eileen is in. That terrible smell, what's behind this cloth? Oh, it reminds me of Silent Hill 1! The body that was hanging. Alright, what is this? It doesn't look like I can go any further. That looks like... Like it would be a homage to Alessa's bed. Oh, we already went here. So I missed one. What is this vase? Dried up flowers. Oh. Oh. I don't. I can't. Holy candle. Holy candle. Oh, I have room. I didn't think I had any more room. Okay. A holy candle. What am I gonna do with that? Dried up flowers. This makes me think about when James was bringing his wife flowers. Alright. I got him run back to the apartment real quick. Also, what is this candle? It doesn't say anything. Oh. Yes, it does. Special candle with anti-spirit effects. Begins working shortly after being lit and placed down. I didn't mean to do that. I just... I... I... I'm embarrassed, alright? That's all I can say. Okay, wait. Ugh. Uh, I really feel like I messed that one up. I'm so sad. Why did I do that? Henry, why? Why did you let me do that? Alright, there's a door here. 
The elevator must be on another floor. I need to press the button on the right to call it. Yo! Oh, it's because my medallion is like breaking, I guess? It's probably for calling the elevator. Should I push the button? Yes. Yes! Oh! Hello? Fancy finding you here! Okay, where to? Oh, we have to go, um... Oh, everything's broken, but the open close button? Alright, well, that's okay. I remembered that we need to go check these last two doors. I'm kind of terrified of what's behind them. Hello? Oh man, that stinks like hell. What the hell is it? I don't know. I can't really discern what it is. Okay, this is it, I think. Oh! <gasps> yes, girl! Oh, she's so pretty. Girl, you must not be feeling good at all. <laughs> it's me, it's me! I mean, I mean, relax! <laughs> oh, poor girl. same Please. where is it anyway uh, I don't know either but I do know that if you get killed here then you die in the real world too <laughs> anyway the only way out of here is through that hole okay okay take me with you wait Oh, how cute. Oh, the way he held her hand. Oh, that was so sweet. Um, th So, okay, I'm a little nervous for them because when we tried this last time or we were around a hole with Cynthia, it didn't work out that she could come back. It, she started to feel sick, which, by the way, someone said that has nothing to do with the other world. I, for some reason, I thought that from Silent Hill 2 that Eddie was getting nauseated from, I don't know, the world or something like that. This is a but, nightmare. Oh, she's talking. It can't be happening. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool and unexpected. I like that. Um, Yeah, anyway, so y'all were telling me that he was only sick in Silent Hill 2 from the killing someone. So anyway, I have been corrected. Anyway... I'm a little nervous. There's a scalpel, scissors, and other surgical instruments here. What are they doing here? Because, Henry, something's going on and we're in like a hospital and they're harvesting kidneys or or ovaries or something and Eileen's next. And we gotta try to take her home. I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. 
Who? Who? Oh, it's just y'all. Uh, Henry, are you gonna shoot? What the heck is going on? Oh, there we go. What the heck? I think it was my controller. Alright, I don't need to use this. I can use this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so Eileen almost didn't remember she was attacked. Something's going on. I guess she just maybe got her head knocked or something. <gasps> Let's take her back to that weird room. Which one was it? I think it was this... I think it was the one right across from where she was. I thought it was that one. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Someone downstairs, I thought that. It was the game. Right, well, uh... <gasps> oh! Sorry, girl. Sorry. Where did we... Ah, I should have looked at it on the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eileen, Eileen, look at this, look at this girl. Come here. Come here, check us out. Eileen, you don't have anything to say? Look at this. Oh girl, I'm so sorry about your leg. Alright, uh, now that we've gotten Eileen, um, it's prompting us to go home, but hold on. Let me figure out what's going on with this elevator first. Okay. Yep, it just says everything's broken. Alright, well, I tried. I'm too lazy to check if any of the other rooms are different now that we have her with us. Come on, girl. Alright, she's okay. Oh! Come here. Come here. Come here. Wonder if we take her purse now or if she'll get it or something. They're trashing me. Stop it! There we go. I guess I should use my taser. I mean, why not? The boy that helped me. Oh. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I wanted to comment about that. So. The cloaked man is bad guy. Little kid is maybe not bad guy, but maybe is baby Walter, and the cloaked guy is adult. Walter. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I guess let's try to go back, but I don't know if it's gonna work, girl. Can I talk to you? All right, girl. Well, let's try. You ready? I'm scared. I don't want to lose her. But there's nowhere else to go. Ah, uh, let's go. Oh! Oh! Yay! Oh, how cute! I love this. Hmm. So, she might be back at her apartment then, I'm gonna guess. That would be so cool! Oh, they're together. hear something talking okay so this is like a new like we went through the level so now here we are and she's alive yay It's all that noise. <gasps> oh man. I didn't think anything of it when I took the picture, but 
Now it gives me a seriously creepy feeling. That's the same dialogue. Everything looks normal outside. Wonder why that door is red over there. It's kind of weird. Looks like something might happen through it later. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. Wait! Wait! What is that I see? My freaking health is not replenishing. <sighs> we have just lost cabin pressure. This is not good. This is not good. What was that noise, by the way? <gasps> no. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> the air in the room feels heavy. Stop. Oh no. Our table. Oh, I'm so scared. This room is so oppressive. Oh. Is it because the... Oh man, okay. So, whatever happened has now kind of cursed my apartment? Oh man, I'm so freaked out. Oh, there's a note. I left the radio on, by the way. But there's a note. Let's look out the door first. Ooh. Okay, nothing changed. Because we saved our girl. We just got a letter. There's a letter and a small key inside. You've seen that world as well, that horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you sing the door with the placard set in it, look on the other side of the door and keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. Okay, Joseph coming through with some sick notes and tips. Oh man, what? Wait, what is that? I didn't see that before. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Okay, what this? How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours, but during that time they found the body of 1421. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. No date written. Looks like a scrap from a diary. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell, blood loss, after he stabbed himself in the neck with a spoon. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. After that, his name became famous all over the world and it looked like his string of mass murders were finished at 10 out of 21. But three years later, they found a corpse that had 1221 carved into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Sullivan committed suicide. The M.O. was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 1221 victim still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat, and they are proceeding on that basis. But they haven't made any progress and recently discovered victim number 13, this corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified a suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people knew the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's M.O. so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there. Creepy. Oh my gosh, there's one more. Whew, so much juice. The weather that day was very strange, even though I avoided the earlier storm. There was still a thick fog clinging to everything. 
Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case, so I figured things probably hadn't been touched here, but I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. This diary is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave, and on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 1121. I don't remember if this is the grave, the numbers that we read on the grave from the orphanage world, whatever, the forest world, but that might have been his grave, I think. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, we gotta heal up. Um... Now that my room is cursed. Love that. Oh, we gotta check on Eileen, too. I'm gonna put back the ampioli. So, I'll take one. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, we'll put back the other. Because... I just want to be conservative, and we're probably gonna find more stuff at this rate. Alright! Eileen, let's check on you, girl. Please be in the hole. Like, not that hole, but I mean, like, this hole. Wait, she's not here. No. Bunny! Bunny, what did you do with her? Oi. The lighting looks different. What about the fridge? Is it still working? Yes. Okay, I want to keep going so freaking bad, but I can't make the episode so freaking long again. <laughs> I want to get this out to you guys in a timely manner. Okay, this was so much fun. I think we were at St. Jerome's, but I'm not sure. Some hospital found the hooded man. I think it's Walter Sullivan as an adult. Not sure completely because now it seems like the boy protected Eileen in some form. I don't know yet. I can't wait to keep going though. This has been really fun. Um, anyway, thank y'all so much for the likes, the comments. Thank you for subscribing and I hope to catch you on the next one. Ciao!